If you want a reference point to place things, then you can use something called grid inside of Shotcut. So over here you can see that I have a video opened up, but, uh, but there is no grid whatsoever. But if you were to click on grid, you can see that there's a crosshair grid right here. You can go around and expand this and you can go for 3x3 grid right here, which is for the rule of thirds and there's 4x4 grid right here. And similarly, you can go around and select out safe areas where uh, uh, the uh, outer area denotes the action area, which might be cut off and the inner area is the text safe area right here. So you can go around and enable these out as you can see right here. So you can go around and then enable these things right here like grid and so forth. So what this helps with is if you were to bring in elements, let's say for example, if I were to go around and bring in, uh, let's say for example, a simple text right here, then what happens is that I can go around and change around the position of the text. So I'm just going to go around, resize, and then uh, what we can do is we can place this out and it snaps onto the grid as you can see right here. It snaps onto the grid right here. And you can also turn the snapping off so that you can move it freely. But if you were to snap it, then what happens is that you can place it exactly on the spot as you can see right here. So let me just go around, go to four by four and it snaps into place as you can see right here, snaps into place, snaps into place right here and snaps into place right here as well. So let me just go around, snap into place and so forth as you can see. So that is how you can enable and work around with grid inside of Shotcut. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.